Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Best Laid Plans by Farrell Mitchell. This play is about the plan of the thieves who decide to burgle a diamond shop. But the thieves were outwitted and the play ends with a surprising turn at the end. Characters here are Jack and Bill who are burglars. They are assisted by a man called Cuthbert who is disguised as a policeman. Wood and Spender are the two masters of a jewellery shop. Primrose is a butler. This play begins with Wood and Spender getting ready to leave the shop after making necessary arrangements for the safety of the valuables. For safety, they hide the key safe under the carpet by the fire. They are sure that even a burglar would not think of looking for the key under the carpet. As soon as the two masters are gone, the two burglars, Jack and Bill, step in without making noise. They have already befriended the butler Primrose and got all the necessary information from him. As Primrose is likely to concentrate all his attention on the radio play, the burglars are not noticed by him. So, they take the keys easily from under the carpet. They want to take the precious diamond jewels kept in the safe. Jack is wiser than Bill, so he gives instructions to Bill. Jack has minutely calculated the working hours of the police on the beat. He also knows when he and his friend Bill can make their escape. Sergeant Will comes down the street on his usual beat at 10 minutes past 9. The next police constable, Travers, comes down the street only at 10 o'clock. This interval time is the safest time for Jack and Bill to escape. Jack proposes to write his autobiography to mention all his experiences and valuable ideas to thieves. Unexpected arrival of Wood and Spender to the shop interrupts the plan of Jack. The masters catch them red-handed. The masters decide to call the police. Before that, Jack requests Wood twice to look out of the window to find out if it is raining because Jack's fortune teller said to, that, to him that he would be caught only on a rainy day. Wood reports that it is not raining. The opening of the window and the drawing out of the window curtains twice is a signal to Cuthbert, a companion of the burglars. Cuthbert comes to the rescue in the guise of a policeman. But Wood notices the boots of the policeman and understands the clever move of the burglars. So he rings up detectives from Scotland Yard. The detectives arrest all the three burglars. The burglars are arrested only because of the butler Primrose. Because Primrose had already informed about the plan of these three burglars to Wood and Spender. Thus, the best laid plan of the burglars were shattered into pieces because of the butler Primrose and here ends the play. If you have anything more to add on to what I've said, please write it in the comment box, like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you.